Hello, potato chips. Yep, I've gone and done a bit of grocery shopping and found some interesting new chips. Um, or crisps, or however you want to call them. I kind of go back and forth and we'll call them both. So, flavor icons, I guess, is what Lay's is now doing to replace their old Do Us a Flavor line, where every summer they'd come out with uh, some crisps. With flavors chosen by the fans. And some of them are quite good, like I really liked the ginger wasabi kettle cooked. My wife was a big fan of the sausage and biscuit ones. And some of them were not so good, like the truffle fries or the cappuccino flavored chips. You can't have them all, right? So last year, as I recall, they had done away with Do Us a Flavor and they had instead released new flavors that were somehow meant to be inspired by music despite them not having even musical names. I don't even know what the flavors were, I just remember that I was not impressed. Well, this year, they've announced new ones, and I don't remember what most of them are, but I do remember the only one that, when I did read about them, or hear about them anyways, uh, that I thought was interesting was this one. So we're going to try them, because I found them when I was out grocery shopping. Yay me! Now you're probably thinking here, a simple bag of chips. That's the whole video. Well, it's, you know, it's Monday. This isn't, this isn't a Sunday video. We keep it simple on the weekdays, or we try. But no, this isn't it. Because while grocery shopping, I popped into my local Asian market and found these lovelies from Lay's Thailand. Yep, those are in fact Lay's chips, but they're from Lay's Thailand. Uh, and they are salted egg flavor and sweet basil flavor. And I'm guessing there'll be a little bit of spice in there too, because look, those are uh, peppers on the front. Can we, is there anything to read on the back here? Uh, paprika? That's what those are, that's probably paprika. So there'll be a little paprika flavor to them. So yep, we have three different types of crisps to try today. Uh, and frankly, the one I'm looking forward to the most, honestly, is salted egg. Because that could either be fantastic or bloody awful. Let's find out. But first, let's start with our American crisps. Let's start home before we go abroad and check out our flavor icons, Nashville hot chicken flavored, inspired by party foul Nashville, Tennessee crisps. So I wonder, are the other ones? I should have probably looked this up, shouldn't I? Have? Are the other ones also inspired by restaurants? Because I, I, I guess that is a restaurant. Uh, in fact, I'm sure that is a restaurant. So I wonder if the other ones are also restaurant inspired. So Nashville hot chicken, not a thing that I've had a lot of because I'm in California, but I want to say I normally associate it with, yeah, we've got pickles on there, so I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. I like spicy things. You know I like spicy things if you've been watching this channel. But I don't like pickly things. I tried one time at Sam's Club, they had, like, Nashville chicken bites. And not only were they not spicy, they just tasted like they had been dunked in pickle brine. They were, they were not good, and there was no sauce to dip them in to try to drown that pickle flavor out. And I'm guessing that's what we're going to see again here, uh, is probably some of that pickle flavor. But hopefully, no, hopefully it's not overpowering. Hopefully the chickeny and the heat flavor will be dominant and the pickle will just be an under, underling. Underling, under flavor will not be dominant is the thing I'm trying to say. All right. Yeah, they just look like kind of like a barbecue chip, right? Nothing special there visually. Well, they don't smell like pickles. They do smell chickeny. So that's a good thing. All right. Let's give them a try. Mm, no, the flavor is quite good on those. There's heat. There's chicken. I don't really taste any pickle. No, those are quite nice, actually. I mean, not super hot, but I think too hot for some people. And I think I feel like. I'm sitting in the back of my throat of that second chip. I think these are the kind where the more of them you eat, the more it is going to build up in your mouth. Which is normal for hot things. But yeah, these are quite nice. And they're not, like, super greasy, which is also nice, because Lay's chips sometimes can be a little greasy. It's part of why I don't really like potato chips all that much, is um, they just feel oily to me. I like, I like uh, flavored tortilla chips better. That's why I like, I like Doritos. 
you know, give me some of those uh, flaming Hot Nachos, some of those Tapatio Doritos, I'm there. But no, these are quite nice. I will have some of these on my lunch. Alright, so, honestly, I thought those would be the biggest disappointment. I don't really taste pickle at all. There's maybe a little tiny bit of it just at the very like, the very bottom of it, which is probably why there's just a little tiny bit of it at the bottom of the package. It's not the dominant flavor, and that's a good thing. Alright, let's try our Thai Taste Sweet Basil flavored chips. What are we doing calories on these? 15 chips, 150 calories. Half a bag, 160 calories. That's 28 grams versus 30 grams. All right. So, calorie-wise, they're about the same. I wonder... The ingredient list for these seems shorter. Potato... Rice bran... Rice bran oil. Now, that's interesting. Seasoning, MSG, ribotide, aspartame, paprika, oleoresin, silicon dioxide. That's where these have potatoes, vegetable oil, Nashville hot chicken seasoning, maltodextrin, salt, bacon fat. There's bacon fat in these. Spices, sugar. Oh, no wonder they taste good. There's bacon fat. Chicken fat. That's where the chicken flavor is coming from. Cooked chicken powder. All things I can read. That's nice. Is there anything... Unfortunately, most of the writing on here is in Thai. So I can't read any of it, which of course is why they put the lovely little import sticker on it, so you know what it is you're eating. It contains soybeans. Alright, so sweet basil flavored Lay's. The bag's a lot thicker than uh, the American one. Alright. Oh, they are like uh, the ripples, like ruffles. Because the ruffles have ridges. And they look pretty, pretty standard. I mean, I wonder if the ruffled chips are more popular in Asia than the than the flat ones. Can you remember those pizza ones we had? Were like these uh, ripply, crinkly chips too. All right, let's give it a smell. Ooh, that does smell. That smells weird. Um, it's it's basil. I definitely smell the basil. I smell the sweetness of it. This is either going to be going to be quite nice or not very good at all. Let's give it a try. Wow, that is really strongly flavored. Um, so yeah, there's no there's no heat in there at all. Yeah, sweet basil. A sweet chip is always a weird thing. They're not bad. They are different. A little, I'm going to say aromatic in that I can like feel it up into the back of my nose now. Like I can taste it when I breathe. Different, but not bad. I don't know if I'd get them again. But they're, uh, they're definitely an interesting thing to try. I don't hate them. I don't love them. They're, they're food. They're different. They're not a flavor you're going to get in America, that's for sure. Well, not made for America. Obviously, I got them in America, because I'm in America, and I've got them. And I got them in a store in America. But you know what I mean. They aren't going to be made for us. All right, let's try the weirdest one. Salted egg. Again, this one's either going to be fantastic or awful. I don't think this one's going to be in the middle. What's in this? Um, potato... Interesting they use rice bran oil instead of vegetable oil. I guess it's probably just because rice is more prevalent in uh, in Asia than it is here. Or than, you know, than the stuff they make vegetable oil is out of here. I don't know. Rice bran, tapioca starch, maltodextrin salt, onion, garlic, and egg yolk powder. Flavor enhancers, MSG, ribotides, anti-caking agents, monosodium glutamate... Again, and ribotides again. Oh, it's just a warning. Contains wheat, milk, eggs, and soybeans. Yeah, product of Thailand. From PepsiCo. Follow Lay's Thailand on Twitter, Instagram, and whatever that is. I'm guessing it's a network that says line on it. 
Getting into network that's not big here in the States. All right, let's try our salted egg. You know, because pretty much anything is made better by the addition of a fried egg. Oh, this appears to be more of like a soft boiled egg uh, by the look of it. All right, kind of kind of orangey maybe a little bit. I'm guessing that's the egg yolk powder. Hmm. It smells of something, but I'm not going to say, hey, well, yeah, maybe. Maybe a little bit like a hard-cooked egg, yeah. All right. Well, not offensive, that's for sure. Mmm. Those are... Those are different. Those are unique. I guess a little bit like a hard cooked egg. There's a little sweetness to it. It's not unpleasant, but it's not great. Uh, I'm gonna say it's probably the, none of these are awful, but it's probably the least good of the three here. They actually appear to have gone in the opposite of what I thought. And I tried the one I thought I would do like the least first and like it the most. The other two have both been, um, different. I guess, and maybe it's because I know what it is. If, you, if I'd eaten this blind and not knowing what it was, I, maybe I wouldn't come up with this. But if you somehow like freeze-dried a hard-cooked egg and then pulverized it in a Vitamix and then sprinkled the and then like sprinkled that powder over over the chips, that's what that's what this is. I, I do want to say it does taste like a hard-cooked egg, but it's very it's subtly so. It's very weird. I think if you gave this to most people without telling them what it was first, they would not be able to pick the flavor out. It's not bad, but it's definitely the least good of the three. It's one I don't think I would buy again, but I am glad I tried it. So, yep, that's what we tried today. So, if we're gonna rank them, they're gonna go in the order that I tried them in. The American Nashville Hot Chicken Flavored is uh, the best of the three. Second be our Sweet Basil. It's, um... Definitely sweet. It's it's got a like an aromaticness to it that gets right up your nose through the back of your throat. And then third place is our salted egg, which is just kind of a. I mean, I knew it was a weird flavor when I saw it, but it tastes like a weird flavor too. It's not overwhelmingly of egg, but when I see that it's supposed to be egg, I can I can taste the egg, but I don't think. But I don't think most people would be able to if they didn't know what they were looking for. Yep, there we have for today. Three flavors by Lay's, one for the US, two from Lay's Thailand. Um, yeah, those are interesting. If either of these sound interesting to you, I would definitely encourage you to go give them a try if you have a market near you that sells them. Uh, this is not what I went into my local market for. I, I went in there for one thing in particular and came out with, with, a, with a few things. A, a few things. But, you know, hey, it's, it's all good stuff. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you found it at all interesting. If you did, please give the video a like and make sure you're subscribed. And um, yep, I will see you in the next video.